Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to Lombard Tycoon 2. <clears throat> now, for most of you, um, you're not a returning viewer, uh, if my statistics are correct. So, if you could hit the like, comment, subscribe button, hit the notifications. If you are returning, thank you so much for jo joining me once again. I have no clue what I'm going to do. I know what I'm, I, I plan on doing, because I've realized my videos are no longer gameplay. My videos are being watched while people relax, listen, and just, that's it. <laughs> You're just listening. I'm okay with that. I am 100% okay with that. And, oh gosh, I got that stuck. <clears throat> I think, I think it's a good thing to just have something to listen to. I mean, that's basically the reason that I play this game is just to have something to come and play inside Roblox where I can relax and chill for a little bit, you know? Nothing wrong with that. And, you know, if we get a little bit of building done or something along the way, I'm good. I've accomplished my job. So. Oh. Thought I'd never get that up in here. Uh, by the way, this is my living room. Or my entertainment room. Um, but I gotta fill in some of the floors, or the ceiling, if you will. Um, I do need to come up with a staircase to get up to the second floor, or the attic. Ooh, maybe I should make an attic door. That'd be good. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, I know mine was great. I got to meet some uh, new friends of Oliver's, so shout out to you guys. And um, got to go bowling and do some laser tag, which was really fun. Um, Again, just enjoying, enjoying the family, enjoying having family to, to hang out with. I think that is the biggest thing ever. Like, I'm super excited to have family here. I'm super excited to have people that I can turn to no matter what and to call whenever they, and if they need to call me, you know, just being here for them. I think that's great. Um, I wish everybody could enjoy family like that. And I know not everybody's family is that close or maybe you've got um, distant relatives, something like that, but it all works out. It does. And I also don't expect it to last forever. I know that families are always changing. Families always have things happening. Uh, I know that my kids will eventually someday grow up, go to college or, or military or go on their own path. And it's okay. I don't know if it's like me accepting it or what, but it's uh, definitely going to happen. So I know, I know I'm starting to bore you. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I feel like things are always changing. One thing that usually doesn't change is my channel. And I can feel that with whenever I record a new video. Whenever I record something not Lumber Tycoon 2. If you're here watching this and it's Lumber, awesome. But if it's not Lumber, people just don't click on it. And I want to make something perfectly clear because I see this a lot. I see a lot of people on YouTube, on TikTok, on Twitch, Twitter, all these different platforms. And they're like, oh, I've been shadow banned. I've been something or rather I, I've, I, it's the logarithm. I want to tell you this right now. There's no such thing. Okay. There is no such thing. If people are clicking on your videos because they're interested to watch it, guess what? You're not shadow banned. There's no such thing as a magical recipe for getting views on YouTube. People come to me all the time. They're like, code, how do I get so many blah, blah, blah. Dude, there's no secret. Okay. Make interesting content. That's it. If you find yourself getting less views, if you find yourself in this predicament of, well, my channel is just not getting recommended. My TikToks aren't being recommended. You're not interesting enough. <laughs> No offense, 
Okay, and, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry that you're shadow banned. You're not shadow banned. You're just not interesting. And that is a hard thing to hear. And a lot of people need to hear this. If you're not getting views, if you're not getting clicked on, you're not interesting. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you like the content that you're making, if you're enjoying yourself, then why do you care if your videos are getting recommended or not? There's going to be other people who will be out there and, and find you and want to watch the things that you want to watch or want to watch the things that you're doing. But there's no secret to it. Like this video right now. I know that it's going to at least get 1,000 views. At least. A minimum. That's also why on the other video, you guys were uh, commenting... Uh, which one was it? It was um, Dragon Blade. On the other video, you guys were commenting, Code, that's funny. You said two, 200 views, 400 views. It's not funny. Because I know that that particular video, it's not going to have that high of an interest. But guess what? Dragon Blade is an amazing game. Okay? And uh, just so you know, I did get a copyright claim on three. Three songs in that game. Two of them were by AdRev Masters, which comes directly from Roblox. I disputed them. But the third, I looked around and I did not have... Oh, we got to destroy these, don't we? Dang it. I looked around and it wasn't on Roblox. So guess what I did? I got a hold of the, uh, the developer. I'm like, hey, just to let you know I got a claim on this, blah, blah, blah. Let them know what was going on. And they said, oh yeah, we have a license for it, for our, our game. Just, uh, here's the code. And they sent it to me. They sent me their license number, which was awesome of them. All right, you didn't, you didn't have to do that, but you did. And I, I thank you highly for it because I simply went over to my video, typed in their, uh, their copyright code, or their license code. And I said, videos made of these video games, or videos made of the game with the license should be allowed. Please release your claim. Sure enough, within like 20 minutes, the claim was released. And my video is now earning uh, escrow. Because I still have to wait for the two other ad revs. But, <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I completely forgot where I was going on this. Oh, I know that that video is not going to get that many views. It's going to be one of the lesser of my my view of my videos, but I enjoy playing it a lot. And what made it even more interesting, okay, is I got a comment from the developer, and he said, "Code, I bought your book a while back. In fact, it was one of the first books that I read whenever I started coding on Roblox." So essentially, this game exists because of you. Now, he didn't give me full credit like that, partly because of me. That's huge. That just, that threw me for a spin. Thank you so much. Okay, first off, thank you for buying my book in the first place. A lot of people are are buying the book and, and learning how to code Roblox. But a lot of people just stop. And I don't want the book to be just sitting on your shelf. Dust it off bring it out look at it and and understand that that book the new book that is coming out not the not the ultimate roblox book but the uh the advanced roblox coding book they're there as a starting point i mean look at the game that i'm playing blade uh Dr dragon blade that is an awesome game and i love the idea that you started, like, maybe I didn't, like, start you there, but at least I had a part of that. <sighs> That's deep. That's a lot deeper than, uh, than I was expecting that book to hit. <laughs> like, I knew I was going to have fun teaching kids how to program and teaching parents how to program, but, wow. I'm just, I'm awestruck. That's all I can say. It's just, it is an amazing feeling. And I hope it doesn't end. Again, here's where things come along and everything changes. Everything will change. My channel will change. My family will change. Uh, hopefully my job career doesn't change. 
I'd love to retire out at the place that I, I'm working at right now. But even if that happens, guess what? It's okay. Change is good. It's scary. I'll be the first to admit it. Change is scary. And back when I was in uh, Marine Corps and just basically traveling all over the different places, change happened a lot. It happened every single day. Uh, we can destroy this one. In fact, I think I'll put uh, I'll put a ladder right here. That's how we'll get to the attic. That'll be that'll be good. That's awesome. Anyhow, if you're going through change right now, if you're if you're switching schools, moving houses, um, changing jobs, whatever the case may be, embrace it. Okay, embrace the time that you're you're getting to grow and to to move and to just be human that's that's a huge part of it i think that is amazing um a lot of people use the insult unique like oh you uh snowflake because every snowflake's special every snowflake's well guess what every snowflake is special there's not a single one that is identical to any other ones. And the same same thing with humans. There's nobody else in the world who's like you. Even if you were an identical twin born seconds apart and guess what? You're still extremely unique and an individual. That's awesome. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. I just, I don't understand how people can use those as insults anymore, you know? I just, I think highly of humans. And I probably shouldn't. I mean, there's been a lot of bad people in the world and around us. But, you know what? Not all people are bad. Doesn't mean that all people are good. It just means that... Not all people are bad. And I lost my train of thought again. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I have not had my medication today. By the way, somebody was asking, um, I take Wellbutrin. Wellbutrin, uh, but I usually only take it on days that I'm working, just so I can concentrate on work. Now, most of the other times, I just drink coffee. Whether it's uh, got sugar in it or not, Normally it's not, just because I'm usually doing keto. Which, by the way, I uh, came off keto for the, the bowling and the um, laser tag, which I was very happy about. Got to have pizza and soda. But I'm back on it today. Gotta get it kicked back in for the weekend. For the week. <clears throat> and for those of you that don't know what keto is, just Google it or something. Uh, I've explained it many, many times on here. and. It's, uh, it works. It works really well for me. I think I have uh, additional benefits just because um, of the ADHD thing. So it actually helps with, what are you doing? Helps with concentration and <clears throat> alertness. Whoa, sitting down. Oh, I guess we're gonna watch a movie now. <laughs> but. Uh, what did I miss? Wasn't, wasn't there one more over here? Hold on. Oh, it's, it's the small tiles. There we go. Anyhow, I wanted to come on here and just thank you guys, you know, for, for everything, for watching my videos, for seeing this stuff in the past. And I've got, I think like 2000 videos. Oh gosh. How many, how many videos have I uploaded in my lifetime? Oh man, um, content. Does it say how many videos I've got? Hold on, I know one that will show it to me. Social Blade. They'll show me all the public videos, not the private ones. 3,425 videos with over 30 million views, 139,000 subscribers. <sighs> Social Blade rank. I'm a B minus. That's not bad. B minus is uh, what I usually did in school. 
right? If not an A. Um, got a couple of D's there towards the end, but that was just because I was slacking off. And of course, in college, I had nothing but A's. It was the weirdest thing. But I think that's because I, I went to the military first, you know? So there was no such thing as late work when you're in the military. <laughs> late? Court martial? Wait, what? No, no court martial. Don't martial my court. <clears throat> Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Um, should I worry about that side? I mean, I can't even walk on that side, so... Don't know if I should. Uh, a lot of you did say that you like the building videos, which I think is good. Um, that's what the majority of my things are. Uh, if you're asking why I'm in a private server and not on public, it's because I don't build this base in public. All this is is from scratch. It's uh, I, I've not used any external sources. Um, I think I used the help of Red Guy like one time. I mean, it might have been Jingle. It was probably Jingle. But he came in, helped me chop some wood. But that was it. No exchanging of money. No extras. No nothing. I mean. When people say, oh no, you can't get anywhere in Lumber Tight Country. Yeah, you can. You can build it up. You're good. Uh, also, somebody said, yeah, that one right there. Okay. Let's hit B. Hmm. I can see how that would be annoying. Hold on. Can I, uh, can I get up through here? Let's just move this for a second. Let's see. B. <sighs> Okay, to the person who commented, hey Code, you used the wrong slant for that last one. It's really annoying me, leave it alone. I'm gonna do this. We know that it, that's the wrong one, okay? But I'm going to leave it there to show that not always does everything have to be perfect. You can, you can make mistakes in life. You can make mistakes and it's okay. As long as you admit to them and you recognize them, it's okay to make a mistake. Accidents happen. And that one is probably just me not paying attention. Which, how many times have you guys done something and like it was an accident or a mistake happened and it was just because you weren't paying attention? I know it's happened to me a lot. And especially with any kid that has ADHD. Like you'll get told that so many times in your life. Pay attention. Why weren't you paying attention to that? Well, like I could tell you. It's because you have ADHD. <laughs> That's not excuse code. Can't use that as an excuse. Sure you can. I mean, you just, you don't want to use it as a crutch. That shouldn't be your excuse every time, but absolutely. Somebody says, why weren't you paying attention? Well, I had ADHD moment. That was another thing that kind of made me mad back in the high school. People saying ADHD moments. Because when you actually have ADHD, there is no moment. You're constantly living in ADHD. Your mind is constantly racing. Even now, like as I'm speaking and talking to the camera, my mind's just racing. You know, I want to go and build um, Roblox VR games. And I'm having the hardest time getting the controls to work. Getting the, the recognition for um, the different controls. It just, it's hard. I'll, I'll get it figured out eventually, but. Uh, how long have we recorded? That's like 20 minutes. You know what? I should probably go work on some VR. In fact, I think, I think that's what I'm going to go do. Um, I might play an episode of Dragon Blade. I encourage you, if you're watching this video, go watch Dragon Blade. I've got two videos on it right now, and um, the developer, like, paid me a huge compliment in the second video. Oh, hold on. I'll, I'll go read it, because I need to pin this thing. Where's the comments, comments, comments? Not the ones that I haven't responded to, the ones that I have. There we go. Dragon Blade RBLX responded and said, Thanks for playing. I read your book to take my first steps into Roblox coding a while ago. So in a way, you also helped make this happen. Dude, you are so getting pinned. Boom. 
that's awesome. So, uh, by the way, I don't pin things very often. Okay. In this video, if you're leaving a comment down below and it's just like, first, hi code, can we play together? Those are things that I get every single day. But if you open up emotionally and you just spill it about your life or something like that, I pay attention to those. I pay attention to the people who take meaning from my videos, who tell me about their life, who, who like, when you get deep into a comment and it wasn't provoked or pushed, like this video is probably gonna have a whole bunch of them just because I'm talking about it. But whenever I do just a regular video and then you put something down below, if I get emotionally moved by it, you'll get a pin and it'll probably stay there for forever because <laughs> I don't come back to them after, after the first couple of days. But that's, that's how I feel about comments. When you comment something so emotionally opening, so honest, that those are, those are the comments that get my pins. Not the ones that are like, pin this comment, code. No, I'm not doing that. So thank you everyone for watching this episode. Um, I will come back and build some more later on as we continue on to our attic. This has been, what, almost a six month project? Just trying to get the roof on there? Jeez. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Oh,